Music generation is a challenging task. In the beginning, we will introduce some music background. In music structure, there are two parts in music, melody and harmony. And just like the picture shows, a song follows a hierarchical structure. It is composed by several paragraphs, and each paragraph can be divided into four phrases. Each phrase has four bars, and if the music is four by four measure, there will be four bits. In our project, we use a symbolic music form like MIDI files. A MIDI file is short for Music Instrument Digital Interface File. It is symbolic representation of music, which allows the easy calculation of such information and its manipulation. For every music, it may contain many tracks like piano track, drums track, bass track, and so on. Uh, in our project, we mainly use two datasets. Um, the first one is NAC dataset and the other is Taylor's dataset. We collected more than 45,000 MIDI files in total. As for our project, based on the composition of a song, we want to generate a melody only based on given datasets. Any length melodies, we want to generate and accompany the melody with additional tracks to make it sound like a band with the usage of self-trained model. In the future, if the generated melody is matched with additional tracks, we want to match the song with lyrics and make it completed. Here we use Melody RN in our project. We use Melody RN to generate melodies based on our own data sets. Melody RN is a two-layer LSTM structure and its input and output are both melodies. With the usage of Melody RN, we can capture very essential information about the melody for our next recurrent neural network states based on RNN structure. Here we try the four models in melody RNN. They are basic RNN, mono RNN, lookback RNN, and attention RNN. Basic RNN and the mono RNN are very similar to each other. They both use one hot encoding method to extract the MIDI files. But the basic RNN apply constraints in the pitch of the MIDI file to be in range 48 to 84. Mono RNN didn't apply any constraints, so mono RNN has the whole pitch. Lookback RNN adds some additional information for one bar to bar bar go. The second information is that whether the last event is repeating one bar, two bars ago. The third information is the rhythm patterns, which map a unique number to a specific rhythm patterns. This information you can easily repeat the patterns. Last one is attention RN. Attention RN uses previous states output and uh, to get an attention mask. With this attention mask, we can get a weighted sum of previous states outputs. And then we concate the outputs with the current states input as our new input for RNCL. So with this method, we can learn longer turns based on the structure. Here, let's listen some good results from our project. Compose a new song. As we know, we need to create a melody and a harmony. A harmony is accompaniment, provides the distinctive background for the melody, giving it strength and context, and it usually consists of five basic instruments, including guitar, piano, bass, string, and drums. After we exploring many similar work to our goal, we found music can fit our project well. It can generate four bar long music conditioned on a given melody to form an entire sound. Let's explore more detail about the model structure. In the music game, it's using West 13 distance instead of JS divergence, and it adds additional gradient penalty to the objective function for the discriminator in order to reduce the risk of model collapsing and achieve better optima with higher convergence rate and less parameter tunings, according to the recent research. In order to generate a music, we need to find a method to arrange its temporal structure, and we can use a bar generator to generate a bar long music and arrange different 
bars, which are generated privately to a temporal structure to form an entire sound. This is the basic idea of Mills gain. Let's explore more detail about bar gain. Inspired by the real-world composing method, we may have different kinds of music profession to cooperate or work independently to produce a sound. For example, in the jamming model, we have five generators and five discriminators for each track of music. In the real world, this can be viewed as five professional musicians work independently. The second model, composer model, is like a composer with prior knowledge of five instruments that can make a sound by himself. The third model, hybrid model, now we can have five musicians work together to satisfy a strict composer, and five musicians work together with their own prior knowledge. All the three models make sense. To our best knowledge, we prefer hybrid model because it can mimic the human composing most. In order to solve the problem that the bar gains can only generate music that possibly has no coherence among bars, the Mills game paper proposed two methods. The first method is to generate a fixed length of music as showed in the figure part A. The second method is to generate a music by a given melody as shown in the figure part B. The input signal is a YT, which is a melody generated by the melody RN. It goes through an encoder to capture the main temporal structure of the input melody, and in the meantime, we have another sequence of time, ZT. The input signal for the generator is the combination of these two input noise. The above figure is the system view of the Muse game. Now we need to extend to multi-track generation with some intro-track and inter-track issues and time dependency. The track information sharing shared the same information which is the zt and z in the figure above and zt is a sequence of time can be viewed as a time dependent input and z a constant variable can be viewed as a time independent input for the inter track information each track has its own private input source zit and zi zit is a sequence of time and track thus is a time dependent input for the generator which can can capture the temporal structure for each track. Zi is a constant variable for each track, which can be the offset for each track to correct the information. After generating the new 4-bar long multi-track music, the discriminator is trained to distinguish the generated one and the real one. All the data we collected are from website and produced by individual users without a common standard, so they are quite noisy. First, we know that each instrument is encoded with a number in MIDI file, applying merge the similar instruments, just sum them up would be useful. And we filter out the sounds that are not full force, which is the normal temporal structure for a sound, and the MIDI file that are too short for the data segmentation. And we also truncate the pitch range for each note in the track by keeping only pitches that is suitable for human singing from C1 to C8, which in total has 84 pitches. Finally, since we are using the sounds that are full force and will produce a 4 bar long music, we can segment the MIDI file by 4 bar in each dataset. Above figure is the final result in the piano row. The part A, as we can see, is quite noisy, and as the step goes to 50 hundred, piano row is much more clear. We can see the track of different kind of instruments clearly. So let's listen to some demo of our best product. So in total, after getting a basic understanding of different models from different papers, we concatenate melody R and the Muse game together to generate a match check sound. First, we use melody R and to generate only melodies with two new datasets. We start from processing the dataset and choose trainable parameter for our model to fit the dataset. And it turns out that lookback RNN and attention RNN do have better performance than basic and mono RNN. And then we try to accompany generated melodies with match tracks use MuseSkin. We code our own data generator to deal with different data sets 
and the filters generated the data to get a reasonable collection of the data. After processing the data set, we tune different parameter for our model and get some good results. We did some interesting experiments with different models and it turns out the result can be good. But there are still lots of things can be done in the future. First, we can combine some information to make the generated sound to be closer to human's taste. Besides, we can match the generated melodies with lyrics and make the computer sing the sound. So we still have a long way to go.